What's going on guys? Hope everyone's having a good morning, evening, whenever this video is up. But look what I got my hands on. I got my hands on Battlefield 1. Right now I'm doing that weird sprint thing. For some reason my controller lagged out right here and I couldn't even run. I had to just like click Y. I could barely even move. I don't know if that's something, an issue with the game or something. There's like a cooldown time. I don't know. I haven't even killed anyone that way. But it is pretty cool. This game is probably the most realistic FPS first person shooter, if you guys aren't aware what that means, game ever. Except in real life, you would probably notice there's a guy there trying to kill you. The game's realistic, although my actions are not. Um, but anyways, I was going to talk to you guys about something. Um, I, this is probably going to be the next game that I'm going to be playing. This, uh, Battlefield 1 and Destiny. Now, Destiny is actually, I would say the life is almost over, even though the Rise of Iron just came out. It's not really, the life really isn't over. It's just that it's kind of dying down and stuff. People still have a lot to do. But it's dying down as in, like, there's there's nothing new. There's new stuff, but there's people already can get that stuff so fast because they play it and they're top-notch guys. Now, if you're new to the game, there's a lot. So, let's just forget what I said. Let's talk about Battlefield 1. I think I'm using the sniper in this game. I'm actually going to be making a lot of different videos. This one's a little, gonna, it's going to be like five minutes long, four minutes, whatever it, I decide to make it. Because I'm just using a sniper and it gets kind of boring. The other videos I'm going to be doing over the classes are not going to be really long. They're probably going to be like two and a half minutes or maybe three minutes. Just a little bit shorter. And that's not because I don't have anything to say or I'm trying to be lazy. It's simply because I'm going to get the news out and just let you guys know what I think about it. Like I said, everything on this channel is for the average gamer. As in... I wasn't around with the beta. I played it one time with the beta, then the stuff didn't work, and I ended up losing internet at the time, so I could, or no, Xbox Live at the time, so I didn't even do anything with the beta, which sucks. I played like one game, got knifed in the back, got pissed, and then didn't even give it another try. But now I have Battlefield 1. I'm not going to be going to Infinite Warfare, probably. And if I do in the future, don't hold me to these words that I said now, because right now the games that I'm playing is Destiny with all the DLCs my friend got it and then Battlefield 1 which he also got we're doing that Xbox compatible thing or whatever it is but Battlefield 1 and Destiny will be the games I know there's a lot of news been covered on both of these games but remember this channel is not for the top-notch player or really a guide it well it is a guide it's for the average gamer someone that never really play Destiny, doesn't know how to play Destiny, but tries, and for someone that doesn't really know how to play Battlefield games, but is trying something new. Like I said, these tips that I'm going to be sharing are for the average gamer, but since I covered that for the first two parts of this video, let's get on to the next part of this video. We're sniping, right? This is like the first sniper that I have. Um, this thing's really, really good, actually. I really enjoyed sniping. It's kind of slow-paced or not. But I noticed up here at the top, I think I, the gameplay's over by the time, but I did get two like little quick scopes. It wasn't that quick, but I did the reload animation. It was pretty cool. Now, another thing you guys have to realize with sniping in Battlefield 1 is if you shoot and it z zooms in again, go ahead and pull the trigger because you still got to put the bolt, um, the bolt thing in there and reload it and stuff like an actual gun. So keep in mind, you can't just go pow, pow, pow. Well, with this sniper, you can't. Others may de maybe there may be a difference with others. I haven't got onto those yet. I've, like I said, I've only played this for like two days and not even played like two hours probably of it. See, that's what I was talking about. If I could have got that quick scope, that would have been so awesome. Not a quick scope, but that other quick or that other sniper kill. Um, you guys can tell I play a lot of Call of Duty, especially Black Ops 2, right? But um, sniping in Battlefield 1 is pretty awesome. I don't think there's really a bullet drop, honestly. Sometimes you have to aim if they're running, which like every other game. It's, it has a realistic vibe to it, but not like any other Battlefield game. Other Battlefield games, I know like Hardline I tried in like Battlefield 4 maybe, is I would snipe and you'd have to aim a certain way. With this game, you still do have to aim a certain way because of course the bullet's not just going to be auto-aim and fly right into them. If they're running, you're going to have to aim that way. Or if you don't want to get a hit mark, you're going to have to aim. You can't just put it in their direction and pull the trigger and get a kill. But like I said, sniping's awesome. Um, if you really want to be good at sniping just hold off a little bit and try to aim a little bit better and take your time actually be a sniper don't play like call of duty and that's all i had for this video i think i'm gonna talk about the medic class later probably tomorrow the next day if you guys want to see that stay tuned and if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment and subscribe and check out my twitter in the description and under the channel art also i have another channel called virtue vlogs i'm going to be starting up it's also under the description and i'll put that in the description too you guys can go check that out it's been good guys i'm out